Welcome back. Well, if you've been watching us or any news for that matter, it's something you've probably noticed since the pandemic began. Many people on TV have come to you not from a studio like this, but inside of their own homes, and that's turned us all into amateur set designers. It turns out these efforts are being observed, even judged. CBS's Errol Barnett has this story. That's an automatic three point deduction. Claude Taylor is not a sports commentator. Well, Oregon's complicated. He's more of an interior design judge for correspondents like myself broadcasting from home. Or as his Twitter account puts it, a room raider. Camera angles, lighting, what kind of lamps, what kind of plants, what the artwork looks like. A lot of us were having conversations about it. We just started tweeting about it. Born out of his isolation boredom, the Room Raider Twitter account is only around one month old, with more than 140,000 followers, sparking attention from those who have been judged. Let's start with the rating you gave me, 7 out of 10, because of what? I would like to have seen a little bit more personality in the right side of the screen. You've got a decent room there, and I think you could easily get to an eight without doing too much. Oh, to an eight. Okay, I have potential for an eight. Some of my other colleagues yeah. didn't fare so well. Alred O'Keefe, political correspondent, you gave a five out of ten. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. O'Keefe. There's just not enough there. It's stark. It almost feels like a hostage video that someone's added a bookcase to. Um, I, you know, five, I'm, I'm being... I was being generous. Taylor's girlfriend, Jesse, helps rate rooms, and his daughter, Haley, sometimes offers commentary. He says they try to be fair but honest with their ratings. Uh, John Dickerson, you said, had a, a perfect book wall approach. So I don't refer to this as a bookcase. This is a book wall that covers the entire wall. It's an effective treatment as, of it. As What's as of particular as interest as here is that he's labeled his library by subject area. These are not props. <laughs> Even though all the judges are news obsessed, no home interview background is safe from being skewered. The account has given scores to a plethora of people, including Gwyneth Paltrow, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Beto O'Rourke. He had been banished to the basement, apparently. It was kind of alarming. That was a frightful room. Now, this former White House staffer is still involved in politics, chairing a left-leaning pack shown front and center on his page. But the money he's raising these days, he says, is apolitical. We've switched over to raising money and providing PPE to hospitals in about, I think we're up to 14 states or 15 states. We're sending out boxes of surgical gloves, masks, uh, plastic face shields. Everyone's under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. It's a very difficult time for everyone. Which is this why is he hopes way. he's at least making the people blanket. chuckle. It's really just intended to be a breath of fresh air, just some lighthearted content for this moment that we find ourselves in. What kind of rating would you give yourself? Not very good. I, I mean, this is like a six tops. I, I, I'm willing to be self-critical. This is sort of a do as I say, not as I do moment. I can see that. 